Last video, we took a look at the first ever Minecraft server by a former Hungarian prime minister, which turned into total anarchy. However, what if I were to tell you that the biggest oppositional party in Hungary also created a Minecraft server? Well, I'm here to tell you all about it in today's video. The Tisza Party is a center-right political party that was founded in 2021 and led by Peter Magyar and is the biggest oppositional political party in Hungary. In response to Ferenc Gyurcsány's Minecraft server releasing, they decided to release their own server called Talpra Fiatalok, which translates to Rise Up Young People. In this video, I won't be looking at the actual politics of the Tisza Party. I will only be looking at the quality and overall experience of their Minecraft server in comparison to the Yurchine SMP. With that being said, let's get started. When the server originally launched, there was lag present. However, I need to give credit to the admins, since they made a promise of fixing the server, and unlike the Yurchine server, they actually followed through with the promises that they themselves made. There is absolutely zero lag present on the server, and it runs amazingly. Additionally, the queue that was first promised on the Yurchine SMP is actually implemented on the server to maintain control over the player counts so it doesn't lag as much. The only problem of the queue is the long wait time to get into the server, but let's be honest. What other options would the admins have to control the player counts of the server? There is no other solution which I can think of, but please, if you guys have solutions, let me know in the comment section down below. But the implementation of a queue system into the Minecraft server is praiseworthy. When you join the server, you are greeted with a beautifully built spawn where you are told all of the different commands of the server. This is a nice touch because this introduces the player base of the server to the core mechanics that the plugins have to offer. One of those plugins being an economy plugin, where people can earn money and buy certain items in the shop. There is also a player-ran auction house where people can put their own items up for sale, but sometimes there are some inappropriate things to get uploaded onto the auction house, but the last time that I logged on, I haven't seen anything bad on the auction house myself. One downside for the server is their existing land claiming plugin. Basically how it works is that you get a certain amount of claim blocks, like literal physical blocks. And with each claim block, you have to place it down to go and claim a 10 by 10 area. In my opinion, this system is way too complicated for people to understand and too little to claim their bases. I actually have a solution to this problem. To fix this, I suggest finding another plugin, which is similar to the Grief Prevention plugin on Bucket. But also, looking at how much the server has progressed so far, it might just be better to use the existing land claiming plugin to keep everyone's progress. The server overall has a nice community with no griefing and general toxicity, as the server is primarily an economy server where the main goal of the server is to make the most amount of money possible and interact with other players via trading for items, gear, blocks, supplies, etc. Because of the server being an economy server, PvP is turned off, so you won't have to worry about losing your gear to other players. However, I recognize that fans of PvP will be disappointed to hear this, but I personally believe that this server is unique in today's Minecraft landscape due to not being pay to win, which makes progression in the game feel rewarding. Even when you die, it's not the end of the world, as your items will be kept in a gravestone for 5 minutes, with your death location being put into the chat for only you to see. Additionally, if you've seen my previous two videos, you have heard of the livestreamer Drelaki. On one of his streams, he had an idea to rebuild the Hungarian parliament on the server, which he then pitched to the moderators and the actual Tisa party themselves. After a couple days of waiting, to the surprise of everyone, his project was accepted, and currently, as I'm recording this, there is an in-game initiative to help the building project. Overall, this server is amazing when considering everything. Even though the game has its problems, those aren't significant enough to ruin the average player's experience. The focus on economy sets a clear goal for what you should be grinding for, as it allows you to play the server more conveniently by having access to extra blocks in the shop and the ability to purchase items in the auction house. Okay, goodbye. 